we're going to talk about all things biology. What are the characteristics of life? First, let's talk about biology. What is biology? Biology is the study of living things. Living things are usually called organisms. Now, living organisms have eight characteristics that make them different from objects that are not alive. The eight characteristics of living organisms are a universal genetic code. All organisms store information they need to survive in a genetic code written in DNA. This is something we'll learn in future videos. All organisms are made of cells. Some, cell, some organisms, like the paramecium, are only one cell. However, there are many other organisms that are made of more than one cell. Humans, for instance, are made up of more than one cell. All living things grow and develop. So organisms grow, they get larger by growing their cells, and they add new cells to their bodies or to their shape. All living organisms obtain and use materials and energy. This is also called metabolism. So organisms take nutrients from their environment and use them to provide energy or materials to make new cells. You and I, we eat food, so we take the food, put it in our bodies, that provides our energy, and it also provides the energy to make new cells. All organisms reproduce. Reproduction is a process that enables organisms to make new organisms of the same species, either through asexual or sexual reproduction. All organisms also respond to the environment. This is also known as a stimulus. Organisms can detect or sense changes in their environment and then react to those changes. If somebody were to shine a light in your eyes while it was dark out, your pupils will instantaneously constrict. They will become much smaller in order to allow less light to enter the eye. Similarly, if you were to walk into a very dark room, your pupils will then dilate in order to enter or allow light to enter in. All organisms maintain a stable internal environment. This is also called homeostasis. Organisms need to keep an environment stable inside the bodies, even as the external environments change. So, for example, you and I, we sweat because our bodies are too hot. So, the body responds by sweating, which cools the inside of the body. Dogs, on the other hand, have no sweat glands, so they in turn pant when they are too hot. All organisms also evolve over time. Groups of organisms change over time in response to the needs in order to adapt to their environment. We will learn more upon these eight characteristics as we continue on in class.